Hey, everybody. My name is Tim Mackey uh, from The Bible Project, and today's verse of the day is from the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verses 9 and 10, and it reads, After these things I saw, and behold, a great crowd that no one could number out of every nation and tribe and people and tongue, all standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were dressed in white robes with palm branches in their hands, crying out with a great voice, saying, Salvation! belongs to our God who sits on the throne and also to the Lamb. This is such a cool scene. Uh, John, the visionary who wrote down and crafted uh, these visions into the book of Revelation, at this point he is looking out on a huge crowd of people from, every, as he says, from every different walk of life, type of human culture and community and language group that you could imagine, and he sees them all unified and they're dressed in white robes, which is the image of purity and innocence and rightness with God in God's presence. And they're singing one of the great praise songs of the New Testament, which is rescue, deliverance. Salvation is something that comes to humanity from God the Father and from the Lamb. God is called the one who sits on the throne. It's an image of God the Father as ruler and source of all of creation. But the way that God has rescued creation is through the Lamb, which is uh, the Revelation's primary way of referring to Jesus. And notice that they both are enthroned above the heavens and the earth. And you think the Father, yeah, the Father sits on the throne, but the Lamb is also giving salvation and rule over creation. But the imagery of the Lamb is about an innocent, passive figure who surrenders and gives up power, speaking to the imagery of Jesus giving up his life so that others could have life. So you have this image of a unified humanity that's unified around the source of all life and power, but the way that God exercised his power is to give up power and to surrender his life as an act of love for others. This is true power redefined, and it's the kind of power that instead of dividing humanity into different languages and nations, it's the only kind of power that can unify us across our differences. It's the power of self-giving love and so it's the power that rescued all of humanity. And so we sing with our neighbors and brothers and sisters across the whole planet, salvation belongs to our God and to the Lamb.